It's brave and levels up the Nami, but I was, I was gonna go sparkle fly and do all the sparkle fly stuff. Okay, Star Spring, you're at 10 out of 22. Yeah, I mean, we just gotta level up Nami. I am the tide caller. I will drive back the darkness. But now the question is, is do I just simply replace Sprayfin with Sparklefly? And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Nami. That's right, we're going to be putting these two together. We got our new champion, Nami. We got Soraka. Um, basically, the thinking here with these two is that Nami, when leveled up, is going to be buffing up all of your allies, that plus two, plus one. And then Soraka is going to be healing them because that you know they'll be taking damage in combat. But with them being larger, hopefully they survive combat. And then Soraka heals them. And then we win the game with either attacking with those large things that keep getting healed or with Star Spring. There we go. That's that's the goal. So we got lots of two mana cards. As you can see, basically the whole deck costs two mana. And that's probably going to be pretty good. Also, Nami's champion spell, Ebb and Flow. With the flow heals um, allies too. So let's you know get some more healing in for Soraka. So that's that's pretty nice. It's another card that heals. Um yeah, and that's that's kind of what we're gonna have. So let's get our champions. Uh let's get a whole lot of like little things. We'll you'll know, have our Krusty Codger, Boxtopus, Fortune Croaker, all these things self-damage. And then we'll get healed again by the Star Spring and by Soraka. And we'll use some Sparkle Flies because we have Nami buffing stuff up. So what better thing to buff up than Sparkle Fly? And that'll be it. All right, so we got Soraka, Nami, putting these two together. Here we go. New Soraka deck. Lulu Poppy is super popular today. We played against it twice with both of the other two decks. This is the fifth time to play against it today. <laughs> Everybody today was like, it's it's Lulu Poppy Day. We're like, all right, I guess so. I don't know, Hush is gonna be, I'm gonna be happy to have Hush, I would think. All right, so my plan is to Astral Protection this Boxtopus. That's. I'm happy with that. Basically, that Rangers resolve all it did. It, so it saved this thing. All right, so I'm I'm happy to have them kind of waste that card. All right, cool. I want to play Star Spring this round. I guess that means I'm probably playing Fortune Croaker as well. Let's play it over here. Soraka! You got double evolution on your lab run? Yeah, that's GG's. Double evolution. Yeah, this is a donation Nami deck. This is for me. I, I built this one, though. Sometimes, you know, with the donation decks, um, there, the viewers would like me to build them, and this was one that I put together. Serky with that uh, Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Serky. 
four months. You are a rock star. All right, that's our third sub of the day. Taking a lot of damage. It's three out of seven. Leave me be. Still me taking a good amount of damage, and unfortunately, Nami's gonna go. All right, but now we're going to draw lots of cards. You know, we'll be healing a whole lot with Star Spring. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? You can play three Hush if you want. There's only two Hush in this deck. But yeah, if you're somebody who wants to play three Hush, go ahead. All right, well, I was planning on just open attacking. Drawing the Sparkle Fly means we need to play the Sparkle Fly. Oh, yeah, Soraka 7. Let's go to 14. Bring a flipping bell! Live with purpose. Hmm. But anyway, I had some less figure coming up. Shall we bully off? All right, good. Not another sharp sight. They'd already played two sharp sights. Man, so it's at fourteen now. Now eighteen. We're getting there. Ooh. That could be a lot of healing. Uh, actually not that much. I should make a speech. Uh, where's my speech? Not that much. I wanna play the spray fin. But I'd have, I'd have to cover up something that I don't want to cover up. I mean do I cover up It'd probably be like the fortune croaker, right? Alright, I guess I'm playing this thing. Just basically to draw a card, right? This is three man draw a card plus a little bit of upside. Live. Heals for two. Poros lid. They can't attack, so if they attack, they lose. Never mind. I guess they can attack. Go no further. I can be patient. Yeah, that's them definitely losing. All right, so we got the first one, one and O. Oh. Yeah, you're late for Zareth Zillion. Sorry, we already played Zareth Zillion and Malphite Ziggs, and now we are on Soraka Nami, and I forgot to add that to the title, didn't I? Dark Brain. All right, good win. The stars will remember this day. Easy peasy. Man, this... What is the... What is... I don't understand. Why is everybody playing this deck? It's, o it's okay. But it's not that good. It's not that bad either, but... Just why is everybody playing it? Astral Protection with the... Um, you know, that plus zero, plus four should give us, like, really good blocks. This is our sixth time to play it in 12 games today. 
And I th think we're three and two in the other. I think we're three and two against it so far. I'm gonna go and play this Nami. It was really nice having that Boxapus last game whenever we played it. Like, Boxapus just owned up the game. We don't have the Boxapus this game. But their deck attacks, we Blanc. All right, so we have a two mana spell available right here, not a four mana one. But we had we had just an awkward amount of mana of having five mana, so I couldn't like astral protection plus two mana spell. But we could do sprayfin plus two mana spell. So that's what I'm kind of planning on: is sprayfin plus two mana spell. We had a very good hand. This was a really good hand. This by round. This is, you know, maybe the best hand we've seen from this deck so far. I guess besides one time, they just had like Lulu, Poppy, rallies. I could still have Poppy and Rallies, but yeah, this was a very good hand. So the mayor can can really go crazy. I'm honestly really surprised that like they didn't just like attack with a lot of stuff. And that was it. So now, like their their boards just filled. I'm still good to scrap. Really wish we had one more mana so I could have astral protection to go along with the box to plus. I think I'm just gonna pass. I want to try to level up this Nami, so we're you know getting to five out of seven here. I don't want to have to like I don't want them to sharp sight and everything like that. Like I don't have to worry, but I don't I don't want to deal with that. Sparklefly. It's one extra point of damage. One mana off from leveling up Nami with all these spells. Level up Nami would be really nice to have with all these spells. And I'm one mana off. We'll have eight mana next round. Sprayfin levels up the Nami, but I was, I was going to go Sparklefly and do all the Sparklefly stuff. Okay, Star Spring, you're at 10 out of 22. Yeah, I mean, we just got to level up Nami. I am the tide caller. I will drive back the darkness. But now the question is, is do I just simply replace Sprayfin with Sparklefly? And I think that answer is probably yes. Kind of testing to see if they would like sharp, you know, maybe sharp sight block a spray fin, and then I wouldn't have to, you know, cover up that spray fin with with the sparkle fly, and also not risk my sparkle fly dying to a sharp sight. Lulu's been pretty decent for a while since it, you know changing Lulu to be that three three. There's a Lulu Jinx. It's pretty decent. Swing low. 
send them sky high. I'll make you proud. Yeah, this is a good little setup they got now. Gonna hush the poppy. And cast this thing since it's fast speed. Ride the surging tides. They won't like this. Up we go. Ride with the surf. I didn't exactly expect that to happen. Awesome. I was expecting to play some kind of some kind of spells. All right, there we go. That'll do. Two and O oh for Soraka Nami versus Lulu Poppy. You've got to be kidding me. Alright, we'll send the spray fin back, but I like these three to start with. I could see sending the guiding touch back, actually. But I think we're going to keep it. So are we going to go 5-0 all versus Lulu Poppy? Probably not. I'll be surprised if we win this one. It's not... It's pretty tough to win the exact same matchup three times in a row. I'll be a little surprised if we win this one too. They scared. Boxtopus. Speaking of cards that are really good, Boxtopus. Yep, Alright, so to kill Lulu, we have to, you know, Pale Cascade block. Don't love doing that. I think I'm just going to... Uh, Block over here, play Soraka, next round play Boxtopus, and have Pill Cascade available. This is a, this is a great setup, of course. Lulu Fleet Feather Tracker. This world has such great potential. Pablo's been down! Let his knee out! Are oh, they gonna have another Pokey Stick? I'd rather play Pale Cascade, but they could have another Pokey Stick. So I should probably just go Guiding Touch just in case. Because if they had another one, that would be brutal. Did they just draw that off the Pokey Stick? That's what it looked like. Yes, the Mega Inferno is very weak for seven mana. It, My shield is yours. it is quite weak. already leveled up. I'm worried about Pokey Stick as far as like playing box plus right now. I'm wor that's what I'm worried about. I'm not afraid. Just a wee bit play. Be at 
peace. Where are you off to? Live with her. I weave my own thing. Hey, one eyed nanas. We're over here trying to defeat Lulu for the third time in a row, and it does not look like that's going to happen. That whimsy is for this round. Transform into a 1 1 squirrel and then silence it this round. Is it just the silence that's one round, or is it the 1 1 squirrel that's one round? Like, do I, should I be saving this thing? Okay, it does turn into. turn back into box post next round. Alright, so we shall attempt to save it. I should have gone Astral Protection. I didn't go Astral Protection because I just drew the Star Spring. If you want something done right, let me. Good setup. Good sharp sights. I should have gone Astral Protection. to one. Let's be down to two now. Let's move back to one. Pass. Pass. Can't have a rally, just pass. Last card rally, they really did have everything. They truly did have everything. Such hatred in their hearts. Whoa. This isn't That's not Lulu. That that's not Poppy. What is this? It's not Lulu Poppy. What's going on here? Um Crusty Codger. I don't really like stuff dying for like one to one damage things easily. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Hmm. I really want to play this Star Spring this round. Man, they're playing Lost Soul. That's smart. That card's unbeatable. That's a very good innovation for this deck. Smart opponent. Alright, we gotta take the pass. Take the four damage. Do I try to save Sparklefly? Just be like a one six. Does get to get a good amount of healing in. That gives me another spell mana for leveling up Nami. So that's why I had I had to leave the spray fin so I had the two elusive blockers. They could challenge one, I could still have the other one to stomp Ezreal. Yeah, 
yeah, this... This card is such a complete upgrade to this Draven Ezreal deck. Yeah, I hadn't really thought about it, but yeah, this is just... I don't... Yeah, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> just basically, wow. It's just perfect. It's like the perfect card. There's Rucka. So that's my goal is just to you know Star Spring. That's that's the goal. It's not the best goal, but it's the goal. The possibilities are infinite. This world has such great potential. Do I have to? Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Just kind of checking to see if we need to respond to anything with the Pale Cascade. Hope they don't have another Ravenous Flock. Very good. Now we get to draw a card. Get another Star Spring. Not bad. Never mind. Kind of bad. My people are counting on me. I Never mind. Kind of bad. I will save my people. Because I guess they're not they're not spells. We don't really need them to heal our allies right now. Sorakas. They have so many guards over there. Draven Ezreal with Lost Soul and now Aloof Travelers also. Like that that looks awesome. Why, like, just why don't they attack with stuff? I don't understand. Hey, what's up, Nerf? How's it going? So we're at 17 out of 22. So close. Alright, playing this to enable Pale Cascade. Yeah, I guess if they have if they have a three damage nexus spell, 
we dead. Yeah, they do. Alright, well that's how it goes. Yeah, that deck looks amazing. But we kind of drew all of our Star Springs, and unfortunately they just didn't didn't help us. You can play that instead of Tribeam and Probulator. Where Tribeam is like really high variance. You just have a card like that that's not high variance. Alright, so we got Sivir, Darius, Aggro. Like, I would like to keep these two. I'd like to keep that Astral Protection as well. Okay. I, I wasn't sure about the Star Spring. Hey, no deals. I have my orders. Everything's in place. Yeah. I was hoping I scared him. But I did not. Man, that's a start right there. That is a start right there. Should have just blocked the 2 1 to begin with. I don't know, we got to draw an extra card. There's no real reason to trade to challenge Merciless Hunter. I can just block Merciless Hunter after this. Just get, you know, another ping on the, the Star Spring. Because <clears throat> you can't imagine they're going to have like a third Merciless Hunter. But that thing is even a scarier. So I have three mana there, three mana here. This world has such great potential. It's a living. Wrap him up tight. You are better than this. Wonderful hand, opponent. Wonderful hand. So I, I can't block the box post. I need the box post to challenge the Sivir this next round. The possibilities are infinite. Home, pal. And they they block with the merciless hunter. This level's up. Take heart. Whoa! They didn't do it. I have my orders. Like a fish in water. <laughs> I'm still good to scrap. Which I just had that ebb and flow first. Go get this shiny top. If only I knew what, what this ebb and flow was going to hit. <laughs> only if it wasn't random. I have one, two, three good targets and one, two, three bad targets. If I just go for it. Okay, good target. Also have the waking sands. I guess if I let them attack, they're gonna they'll all have spell shields, so then I can't flow afterwards. So I have to I'd have to cast flow now if I want to cast flow. Maybe we don't cast flow. No more of your crap soup lost please! It's that soap! You'll be drinking this? Yeah. So I understand. Yes! 
This isn't gonna work. You can't do this. There is assistance. So that's zero. Time to enjoy the night sky. We've ran in, into some amazing hands these last three games. Some really amazing hands. That's still zero. I needed to cast the flow also. I was just thinking about what I was doing with the rest of my cards. But I don't think we, we had any chance of winning that. All right, so it started off good. Started off 2 and 0. Oh, but we ran into some really hot opponents though. there those last three games. Like that last hand that my opponent had of, you know, Saboteur on 1, Grenadier on 2, and then Merciless Hunter, Merciless Hunter, Sivir uh, for 3, 4, 5. And then some more. And then uh, Darius on 6. Like... Yeah, that's <laughs> that's not really something that kind of anyone's beaten right now. I like Tower Deck Felt. I think that it did did play some really good defense. Um, yeah, I think it did play some really good defense. It could could have maybe buffed up Sparklefly a little bit more. Sparklefly did seem pretty important. I just had the one goat in here, maybe a second goat. I don't know. Um, maybe not. Hush was okay. Astral Protection was great. Like Astral Protection plus Boxopus was really really good. Maybe it's the spray fins. Maybe you just don't need the spray fins. They are, you know, kind of expensive and slow. Maybe like the spray fins could be something else. I don't know. I think I liked it though. I think you know, like there's some, some definitely some good stuff here with Nami Soraka. You know, we went two and three, yes, but we, like I said, we ran into some opponents with some really good hands in games. Uh, like you know, game three was just absurd. All the stuff that my Lulu opponent had, and then that last game, that that curve out was just also absurd. So we ran into two absurd like hands. And then one matchup that's probably just a pretty poor matchup with Draven Ezreal, especially if my opponent had a very, very good Draven Ezreal list. So no shame losing that one either. So really some no, no shame in losing any of the three that we did. All right, but that's going to be it here, though, for Soraka Nami. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. And if you are looking for a new Soraka deck, try this one out. Let me know how it goes. Let me know if you got any ideas for any upgrades or anything like that after you play some games. All right, but that's going to be it here for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.